This video is rated TV for theoretically violent, but if you want to learn from history and know what was the best weapon of mass destruction, make sure you watch till the end. When it comes to WMD, which stands for Weapon of Mass Destruction, there are actually several types. Chemical, biological, and nuclear. While the mustard gas in Wonder Woman is a chemical weapon, the man-made virus in Inferno is a biological weapon. Although the atomic bomb as a nuclear weapon is generally considered the most powerful. What if I tell you there is a chemical weapon known as napalm that is just as deadly, but much cheaper? Developed in 1942 at Harvard University, napalm is an incendiary weapon used in firebombing. It works like a petrol bomb and is designed to damage not by blast, but by fire. Now, because petrol or gasoline is a flammable liquid that vaporizes very quickly, the fire usually does not burn for long. But by adding a gelling agent to the gasoline, what we get now is a sticky mixture of chemical that can stick to the target and burn at around a thousand degrees. In the classic movie Apocalypse Now, we can see a napalm strike in action. Fighter jets sweeping across the sky dropping napalm bombs on the Viet Cong in the Vietnam War. If you wonder what it is like to be bombed by napalm, simply watch a clip from The Hobbit or Game of Thrones, and you can easily compare a napalm bomber to a fire-breathing dragon. So far, we know napalm burns harder and longer and can even burn on water. However, what makes it deadly isn't simply the extreme heat, but also the chemical reaction comes along. Whenever napalm is burnt, it rapidly consumes oxygen in the air and deoxygenates the environment. This causes a condition called asphyxiation where people die from a lack of oxygen. In return, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide are produced in high concentration. This makes gas poisoning a likely scenario as well. Although napalm wasn't used in battle until much later in World War II, According to Robert Patterson, U.S. Secretary of War under President Harry Truman, this third of World War II became one of the most potent weapons in the Pacific operations. While you may be familiar with the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where two atomic bombs were detonated over Japan in August 1945, very few people know about the bombing of Tokyo, where the U.S. Air Force sent B-29 bombers and burned the city to the ground with napalm on the night of March 9th, 1945. In this one single attack, an estimate of around 100,000 people died, which is equal to, if not less than the death toll of an atomic bombing. Although some people still consider napalm as a conventional weapon, I do very much agree with Lawrence O'Donnell that napalm is America's cheapest weapon of mass destruction. If you compare with the $27 billion spent on the Manhattan Project, you will be surprised that napalm only took $5 million for research and development, but was used all over Japan and Germany in World War II, against North Korea in the Korean War, and was widely used in major battles of the Vietnam War, including the Battle of Hamburger Hill. Up till now, Napalm is not banned by international law, but is only prohibited to use against civilians. Although by nature, it is very different from a nuclear bomb that is commonly known as the most dangerous weapon, I want to let you know through this video that there are other existing weapons that can be equally destructive. Napalm is just one of the many examples. Underestimate their power, and they will bring hell upon us.